But let's see how chemicals, what chemicals do this stock whenever I get to that. It's been 24 hours roughly since I put a whole bunch of IPA in here. So let's see what's happened. And that is crinkly. That is really crinkly. Okay, today I'm actually going to use gloves. So this might actually work. And we'll see what this green under coating is. Did somebody actually... Let's check this cap first. Look at this. Cap is white. It was white. So I can let's grab some paper towels. Oof, this is alcohol. <clears throat> wow, this is just coming off. It's working pretty well. It's weird that's white. I wonder, is this from the factory white, or what? Oh, this is probably going to be something I Cerakote, or send out to be Cerakoted. Or just buy some Duracoat or something. Look at that. It's actually kind of green underneath. I'm going to let that soak longer. Alright, let's go to the forearm. Oh, jeez, look at that. It's just coming off. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. So underneath that, it's white too. I'm one... Okay. Oh, you know what I'm betting. This was hydro dipped. That's what this looks like. It looks like a hydro dip. But, yeah... That's kind of a cool hydro dip, but it's wiping off because of it's in IPA. I don't know what this white stuff is. The white stuff's some sort of a primer, I think. And I'm kind of taking everything apart now. Everything off. So we'll s leave this soaking a bit. I kind of want to get it down to just nothing. <clears throat> yeah, because everything's going to come off of this eventually. That's a pretty bad coating. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, but... Yeah, I'm going to take it out. Let it dry. I already screwed up a lot of the finish here. That's getting down. The bare plastic. That's what I'm gonna do. Take this stuff out, strain off of everything, and then. Oh yeah, you can just see how it's drying. It's not drying very well. See? Look at that. That's just coming off too. Well, I was going back in the bath.
Oh yeah, parts have already stripped off. Like, badly. I'm gonna leave this in for another couple of days. Another day or two. But I'm gonna clean this out a little bit. <clears throat> and... Yeah. Next time, we'll leave one more coat off. Okay, I got this done. And about as done as I want to do it right now. Because getting all that freaking paint off uh, was actually a lot harder than I expected it to be. So I left some of it. Yeah, I'll splice in some footage here about me power washing everything. <laughs> this, put a small extension on it, should work out pretty well. The only thing I'm worried about is this pin coming out, because you if you've looked at any recent reviews of Turkish shotguns like this one, this button becomes inoperable very quickly. It's due to this pin falling out. I've looked around in Beretta, I think, uh, puts a set screw in the side. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to probably, if this is actually decent and it works, I'm going to chop the ever living crap out of the sides. So I'll have to figure out something anyway. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just glue it in from one side so I'll have to drill it out or do something weird like threading the pin. Yeah, let's make a pin out of a 440 or something and screw it in. That might work. But hey. Cheap shotgun, works fine. And that's it.